Hey, let's do another teardown. And this time we're looking at the bricksbuilder.io website. Um, I'm already on browse. I've had a quick scan of it and it's all working okay. I do quite like the way that header over there disappears as you scroll down. So you scroll down, it disappears. You scroll back up and it nicely appears there for you. But let's go and start pulling in some comments. Let's hit comment first of all. We're using the Atrium website collaboration tool. It is super brilliant. Now, the logo is okay. I have to say though, every time I see this logo, even though I've just said it's okay, mainly because of the, the the wording you've got. That I do like it when you just have nice wording like that. The logo always grates me a little bit because on black or a dark charcoal color, that logo pops like all over the place. But when you look and get it on a white page, it slightly gets lost a little bit. Um, so there is a part of me that feels a bit like, does that need to be in black? That being said, though, that hero banner is very much white. You can see it, it's how it works. And if I quickly scroll down, you do eventually get onto some dark, darker colors. So is there potential maybe to swap things around? So I'm just gonna pop a comment because I still like it. I think it works on the white, but there is a bit of me that just grates a bit about the yellow. So I'm just gonna make a comment over here. So just something to consider. Can we consider a darker background? And when I click create task, it goes and sits there over on the right hand side so that me or anyone else can review it. I can even go in and add further comments later on or even put in like the hex code that I may wanna consider. It's nicely spaced out. You got the word account, you got the word get bricks or the call to action almost to take you down. That's all working really well. It's not nicely spaced out. There's not much more I can say about that. I do like the background uh, little um, overlay that they've got there in the background. You know, that kind of, I like that. The image is good. Just build it. You know, I mean, that's a nice way to show it off and you're showing off the interface. That's super good as well. Now we get down to this section here, create your entire site visually. We're continuing the image kind of layout. We've got a bit more going on there. We got the wording now. Is this wording too small? Hmm, I'm wondering if we can increase that just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna pop down here a comment. Can we increase the font by a few pixels or can we make it about 60% of what we've got over here? So let's just click create task as well. And look, it really quickly goes over to the right hand side. Wonderful stuff. Again, we've got a lovely, I mean, I do like this call to action. By the way, I just need to double check. I don't think that was this, yeah. So we have a different style going on there. Now, in terms of consistency, if I'm going to apply a certain style to a button, I do like to do this same throughout the website just because that's the way I roll. I do like this, what it's doing, that little pop effect. Do we need to consider that elsewhere? Because we do have this little shadow going around the image over here already. Should we consider the pop effects? Let's just stick it in. Let's click a comment. So would the pop in effect work here as well? Let's click create and the task is gone over there. This is, this is super, super cool, right? Let's go down here. Now, I did spot this earlier and I've been, it's been preying on my mind a little bit and I am still gonna make a comment. We have lovely white space here. We have lovely white space here. Now, when we get here, we don't have as much spacing. Now, when you look at that section, in honesty, okay, if you're looking at this on a MacBook Air or a laptop like I am, it works. On a bigger monitor, you notice that shift in the sizing or the padding. And I do feel like maybe we need to make that similar. So I'm just gonna put a comment up over here. And there we go, keeping it pretty simple again. So let's just click that. That task is now created as well. Now, if we just stay on this section though, let me just close that. By the way, whenever you close a task, it doesn't disappear or get deleted. You're just removing it from view, but it is still over there. And you still have the number four to kind of indicate what area we're talking about. Now, if we just look at this in a moment, the wording is okay. I mean, I've already mentioned the wording here, so I might just want to make another comment and just say, um, so we'll just pop that in there about comment too, about increasing the text size. That's all saved. This is all working really, really well, I think. You know, I mean, there's nothing much there. This gray here, I get why we have done that because we don't want it to be like, you know, forced out into your face with regards to contrast. I get that. But I am just looking at it a little bit and it feels a little bit lonely. So there's no URL or major purpose. Let's just do that as well. Let's just scroll down now. Uh, not a designer, no problem. We've got a good image. Now this image has got a shadow. And again, it deviates now from what we've done before. I'm all about consistency. And there is, uh, sometimes I have to kind of stop and go, look, just let it go. 
But then there's bits of me that kind of go, mm, we've now added in a variation on how we're presenting. So I'm just going to click over here. Can we go back to the yellow shadow effects? Let's pop that in. Now this over here is, um, is, is small. So, you know, I'm having to peer squint my eyes a little bit to read it. But I think it gets across the message. So I think we can let that go. It doesn't have to be clear, you know, like big font styling over there. Um, oh, prices go up on November the 11th. Make note of that if anyone is thinking of getting Bricks Builder, okay. Um, so get Bricks for life. You know, I think um, uh, uh, the size there is, I'm just checking the size here. Yeah, you see that size there is bigger than what we have here. And you can see that this is more easier to read if you're scanning the page. So I like that size. In fact, I'm going to say, so yeah, use that font size. So we can now use something to, I mean, you might want to go back in. So if I was to literally go to two, I'm going to add in another comment and say, see uh, 0.8 about the size to use. And that will now add it in and it shows who's added it in. So look, you can see it there. As far as the rest of this goes, um, I do like it in terms of how it's explained in terms of the start of the ultimate packages, the prices. I do think that definitely needs to be bigger, maybe increase the subheader to be about double. And I'm also going to say we need to increase the font size here. Increase the font size by about two to four pixels. Or again, you could refer to point eight, which we had above. But, you know, if you were doing this in a more methodical way, you would probably put a bit more thought into that. But we've now so far made 10 comments. But this is just my opinion. OK, um, we get down here again. You know, I mean, the stuff here, the font size here is kind of OK. You don't have to do that. And I'm just going to say ignore everything I've said above about font increases. Because what you've got here for this section is fine. It's not really a task. It's more like a comment because maybe you don't want whoever's working on this to now go and increase that as well. Because this is more like, you know, disclaimers or whatever or um, notes about some of the pricing. Now, down here, we've got a lovely one on Paul Charlton for version one. I'm going to make a comment here. So can we get Paul to comment on the latest version rather than version one so we can keep this up to date? I'm pretty sure he will happily provide the Bricks Builder people with a comment if they asked nicely. And then we get down to the bit about got question. I mean, look here, can you see the spacing we've got here? That does not reflect what we had here. So that's the reason why it kind of jarred me a little bit. Let's just make it consistent with what we're doing, okay? Because it looks better now, doesn't it? It just sort of flows a bit better. Uh, this is all okay, except the fact that it's not in line. So I'm now just going to hide the comments for a moment. And it's definitely not in line. Can you see here? Look at where that starts. Look at that. And if I was to just use my drawing little grid thing on my Mac like that, can you see that? It's dissecting the second column, the start of the words. So that's not looking too good there. So let's just make a comment here and say, so column two is above column one. Just a little bit, but it is noticeable. All right, definitely to me, I notice it. So there we go, he made a comment there about that. The rest of what we got, I mean, again, I would say, is the size of this okay? And I'm going to say, uh, let's make a comment, in fact, for all of the text. We'll just say, increase the body text again to be two to four pixels higher. I hope you agree with me on that, or maybe not. You might say, no, it's perfectly fine. We get down over here. Now here the grey works okay on the footer because um, it's important but not massively important. So this is all okay. I don't mind the smaller font here. We can leave that. However, we do have a similar problem down here. And if I use my little drawing grid again, can you see here when you get to the top of where it says build with bricks down here and then you got the Facebook, there's more space. Now, is that because of the image that's been added or just because of the way it's been positioned? So that is not in line. So let's just go down here and say, make this be in line because it's currently below. And there we go. And we have pretty quickly, just for the home page, gone and done 15 tasks or comments. And by the way, they're not all tasks. They are just comments. Um, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the homepage of the Bricks Builder or whether you agree or disagree with the comments. By the way, you know, we've just done this because um, I wanted to do a teardown of the website and I would love to hear from the Bricks Builders developers as well and what they feel about the comments. And are they going to go in and act and change them or totally ignore them? And don't forget, this was all done with the Utterim website collaboration tool, which you can use for free. Take care. See you soon.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.